Let's talk about why evaporative freezing and liquid slugging occur and why you need the APR control to prevent these issues from occurring. Common factors of compressive failure are dirty filters, reduced airflow, reduced temperatures, or mechanical failures. Another contributing factor is that all air conditioners are oversized by design. Most units are designed for peak load conditions, the hottest day of the year, and maximum occupancy. When you factor in part load or non-designed day conditions with lower airflow, you're going to have less total heat content across the evaporated coil compared to the compressor capacity. If there's not enough heat content in the entering air passing over the evaporated coil, two things will occur, evaporative freezing and liquid floodback. You all know the evaporated coil removes the moisture from the return air. If the evaporated coil temperature or the saturated suction temperature drops below freezing, all the moisture in the coil begins to freeze and ice will form. Icing can cause water damage in this space as well as compressor failure. The APR control prevents freezing of the coil in a properly operating system by maintaining the suction pressure above freezing. The APR control keeps the saturated suction temperature set point above freezing by diverting the refrigerant gas back into the suction line after the evaporator. But before the compressor, this stabilizes the pressure and temperature of the refrigerant. The evaporator can't evaporate all the liquid refrigerant if it is iced over. Compressors are a vapor pump that can't handle liquid refrigerant. Floodback or slugging is when liquid refrigerant goes straight into the compressor, causing inevitable compressor failure. Second to electrical issues, this is the next leading cause for compressor failure. Floodback or slugging can happen when there's a mechanical failure, such as a TXV, fan, or even a plug dryer. More commonly it is because there's not enough heat content in the air to evaporate the liquid refrigerant into a low pressure, low temperature suction gas. If the compressor provides too much cooling capacity for load or the capacity of the evaporator, it may not be able to evaporate the liquid refrigerant into a gas. During low load conditions such as low airflow or minimum space cooling load, the APR control will vary the cooling capacity of the evaporator coil by modulating refrigerant flow only sending enough refrigerant into the coil that can be fully evaporated, matching the capacity of the equipment to the total heat load in space. During a mechanical failure like a broken TXV or loose belt, the APR diverts refrigerant into the suction line so the liquid refrigerant never reaches the compressor. This is how the APR minimizes and ultimately prevents floodback. The APR control provides variable capacity through mechanical means. Because all systems are oversized, the APR control matches capacity to the changing load conditions. The APR control's modulating capability can also improve humidity control and prevent excessive compressor cycling. This will extend the lifespan of your system, avoiding excessive mechanical wear. If you're experiencing these symptoms of lost the compressor to evaporate coil freezing, liquid slugging, give us a call and discuss how the APR control can prevent that from happening. We understand that each situation is unique to the job and the equipment, and that the APR control may or may not be part of the total solution. Our goal is to provide solutions for your specific needs, not just sell the APR control. Call us, let's talk about your situation.